In this short video lesson, we're going to be learning principles of basic sound production on the flute using your head joint and a simple plastic drinking straw. So let's get to it. Hi, I'm Lance. I'm a professional flutist and teacher, and my goal is to inform and inspire your flute practice. This is lesson two of my beginner flute series, where I break down my first flute lessons for new students who have never played the flute before into small sections so that you can learn at your own pace. In this lesson, we're covering basic principles of sound production, and we're gonna start using a simple plastic drinking straw. Unfortunately, paper straws are too porous and so won't work for this exercise. However, this is a great opportunity for you to reuse some of those plastic drinking straws that you might have from takeout or fast food. I've cut my straw in half, as you can see. I'm gonna start by putting the straw between my lips. I don't want to squeeze on the straw like this, but rather I want to gently wrap my lips around the straw in a circular shape. I'm then going to put the point of my finger to cover the other end of the straw, and I'm gonna blow. If the seal is good, then no air should come out. That's the first step. Next, I'm going to use the tip of my tongue to cover the inside of the straw leaving the other end open. I'm gonna start blowing and no air should come out as well. I'm now gonna do this again and I'm gonna release my tongue, being sure that I clear the area of the straw so that the air can pass through. When you feel comfortable with this, it's time to swap out your straw for a head joint. To orient the head joint to your face, the open end should be on your right and the closed end should be on your left. You're gonna to want to bring it up to your lips and this is a great time to use a mirror. Your bottom lip should cover about a quarter to a third of the hole. I'm then gonna make that same round shape, thinking about the straw and try to blow. If you're having trouble getting a sound at this stage, experiment rolling towards you and away from you until you're able to find a position where you can get a steady sound on the head joint. Let's go ahead and blow three times on the head joint. Now, thinking about the straw exercise that we did earlier, I'm going to use the tip of my tongue to gently touch against the back of the lips, preparing the air, and then releasing the tongue beneath the lip line. And here's what it sounds like on the head joint. When forming your lips, a good guide is the shape of this embouchure hole. We want something that is round, but that is not significantly wider or more narrow than the target, which is this embouchure hole. In essence, what we're doing is blowing the air against this back wall of the riser. And the riser is a chimney of metal that connects the tubing to the lip plate. Ideally, you want to be splitting your air 50-50 on the back of that riser. Here are some of the takeaways from this lesson. Start by practicing with the straw, lightly forming your lips around the straw, forming a seal with your finger, and then on the back side, using the tip of your tongue. Transition to your head joint, covering about a quarter to a third of the hole using your lower lip, and practice just blowing 
and also creating a light articulation using the tip of your tongue against the backside of your lips. When you feel comfortable with this, it's time to go on to the next lesson. I hope you've enjoyed this video and gotten some value out of it. If so, please let me know in the comments and by giving it a like. Also, for more informational and inspirational flute content like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell as well. Thanks for watching. Thank you.